Hi guys! So today we're going to be talking about how you can decorate your room at university and make your room your own personal space. Your room's really important because it's a place that should be your safe haven, it should be a place where you feel comfortable in and a place that represents you and your personality. So I'm going to be taking you through my room and how I've decorated it to make it my own space and we're also going to be looking at a few other people's rooms and see how they've done theirs a bit differently and hopefully you'll find some inspiration in what we've done with our rooms to help you decorate yours and make it the way that you want it to be. So this is my wall of photos. Photos are like a really great way of personalising your room. There's loads of apps that actually do um, like 50 free prints a month. The one that I use is Photo Box, so I just order photos every month and then renew this. So they just add a bit of a bit of flair to your room and make it a bit more cozy. Um, like this lamp here, I've got a, a salt lamp that you can put like different oils at the top. Makes it really nice and homey. Also got Polaroids here as well. Um, again, just you know, makes your room a bit more homey and reminds you of your friends and your family if you miss them. <laughs> uh, and then I like to hang like stuff like this on my wall because it, it makes it a bit more, I don't know, like you know when you feel cold and then there's just like, I don't know. <laughs> like, it brings like warmth to the room, even though it doesn't add warmth, but you know what I mean? It just makes it a bit more... I keep saying cozy, but cozy, I guess. Um, and yep, I like hanging stuff like this. Brings a nice pop of colour. I've got some more over here. This is really cute, you know? And you can buy these from like markets or even just online, you could buy stuff like this. And then I also like to put up things that people have made for me. Um, and then these, I took these from home base and uh, you know, because they're free, and just stuck them on my wall because you know, who wants a white wall? Not me. Your bed sheets as well, great way of adding some colour to your room. Um, I got these from a really cheap website, so I was just looking online and found one that I thought would bring my room together. And then my teddies as well. You know, again, they just add a bit of <laughs> a bit of personality, I guess. Okay, guys, so this is Amanda. Hi. And she's going to give us a little tour of what she's done with her room. Well, firstly, this is my windowsill. I have lots of plants. Plants are a nice thing to have at uni. It gives you something to look after. <laughs> it freshens up the air, makes the space nice and green. Sometimes you need some nature without leaving your room. This is my wall. I just get a lot of old magazines, sometimes find someone was giving away a load on the freshers page, and I just go through them, cut out bits I like. It just, it's a bit therapeutic to cut things out and stick them up, and it makes the room feel homely. So this is Callum. Hello. And Callum's gonna show us around his very small room. Yeah, my room's tiny. So what I thought when I moved in is that I don't have much to work with, so let's make it as me as possible, you know. And if you couldn't tell, I like films. Some Marvel stuff, some uh, Quentin Tarantino. I have three pictures of the uh, Mia Wallace. Boom, boom. One over there as well. Because I don't think they give you a degree on film unless you have a Pulp Fiction reference in your room. Here are some Cine World tickets of every film I've seen since I've came to Every film I've seen in Aldershot, which is where I live. Posters are a great thing to decorate your room. <laughs> so. Posters, uh, listen. <laughs> They're a great way to decorate your room. I hope this has been useful for you guys, and I wish you all the best in decorating your room at university. I'm sure you'll do amazing. Thank you very much, guys. See you soon.